So, I am a NLP holistic coach, where NLP stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming, which means having the ability to use the right words in order to motivate you in the short term, inspire you in the long term, after I have listened to you, your perspective, and then create a plan and for the actions that need to be taken in order to be positively productive. So as for the holistic approach, generally speaking, it should be mind and body coaching. But uh, specifically speaking, in uh, my case, is uh, I can give you the build rapport with you, give you the whole package from a sports, business and academic perspective as I was and I will always be a student in uh, business management in economics in uh, fitness and uh, mindset I was an athlete and captain in uh, national and uh, local level and uh, I have a 10 plus years professional football experience uh, I was in the business industry as a business owner and uh, international coordinator in the sales team and in the fitness industry as a trainer and a consultant in an international fitness education provider. But uh, despite the, all the degrees and the, all this uh, business experience, the most important is the life experience and the human interactions that uh, these days are uh, tested and uh, we can see a different uh, approach on this. So regarding this uh, COVID era that uh, we are experiencing in the in first time in, uh, in our history, since the last pandemic was 100 plus years ago, uh, we have to first defend and then attack to the invisible enemy. Two, set our castles so we don't get sick and then build the invisible success that is coming. We don't know when this will end and when we will su succeed each one, but let's be anti-Coviders and let's win this, uh, this enemy. And all, everybody here, we are a team. So as for, uh, for myself, uh, I see it as a life detox, uh, as a period for meditation or self-talk according to what you need, either to access online uh, meditation, YouTube live streaming that, that is all around, or self-talk and, self and uh, plan. Meaning everybody should uh, make a triple R, 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 meaning reality, reaction, result. So our response to what's happening will determine what what's happening now, will determine what will happen later on. So the reality is that we have plenty of time to create good habits and eliminate bad routines. I've used the word habits and routine even if they mean the, the same, but we used to use habit as a good one and routine as a bad one. So some good habits should be education, online education since it's the only thing that we can do now in order to create a habit to learn to educate all the time continuously for uh, our whole lives. Okay, that's a habit we need to create now. Educate in uh, business perspective, uh, nutrition, uh, fitness, and all the areas that we care about. Second is uh, to work out in order to win uh, time for the future. Meaning, if we learn how to work out now, then we use this homework as we have to do now and save time from the future because long term our 
uh, the success of uh, fitness is uh, to win the difficult times that nobody is exercising like Easter, Christmas, uh, August or the difficult times of your personal life. And uh, generally, more strategically, uh, to create a life plan and not a holiday plan. People used to uh, spend more time in creating their holidays than creating their life plans. So now is the right time to set long-term targets. Uh, and uh, this will have as a result to create a life that you don't want to escape from it. That should be our uh, COVID era mindset. So everybody now should have like patience, empathy, and the winner mentality. Patience, because we don't know when this will end, but patience doesn't mean I work a little, I'm lazy. It means I work hard and smart while being patient. They should have empathy as clients to their product or service provider because it's new that this is happening around us. But all of this will have inside us a winner mentality that we will win this. So uh, students should study even more to go deeper. And it's not time for Netflix, it's time, it's time for study fix. So they can win time for their future to go search for their masters or even study some subject of the next year. Uh, so teacher, teachers can be, become now content uh, providers, online courses creators, and not just content providers that they used to be. Now they have to be online courses creators that, and this will remain for the future for them as well. Business people should uh, reinvent themselves, either change completely, either uh, transfer the way they act so they can interact with their, with their clients more. Like uh, fitness, big fitness franchises around the world are making online classes and people can uh, watch. Uh, and those who can't go in this area, they can tell their story either from their social media, either like now Airbnb is hosting online experiences where business people can tell their stories and other people from out of the world, they can pay them to view this. Um, and as for the athletes, it's not the end of the world. It's not like if you had, you was in a good shape now, uh, you have been scoring goals and making records, it's the end of the world, because just imagine that some athletes in the previous past have ACL and they return after six months and they played. Now it's just two months and you are working out home as well. So it's a good chance also to learn how to work out at home, find alternative uh, and effective ways like everybody is doing uh, right now at home. So as we can see around us in the social media, a lot of athletes are working from home, but uh, all the people are not the same scenario as athletes later on will uh, work out 10 times in one week in order to gain their uh, physical and conditioning status where they want to be. As for the normal people, now is the time to identify how you can work out 10 times per month in order to stay fit. Uh, I remind you that fitness is just a medium to accomplish your targets. It's not competitive. Sometimes should be fun. Sometimes it's just purposeful. So uh, parallel to the nutrition and the recovery and the meditation that everyone should do, and now is the time to find all the solutions, uh, should implement the American Council of Exercise guidelines that uh, where 
that 150 minutes of exercise per week can uh, keep you fit, fit and happy and productive. Uh, so, uh, 150 minutes per week, two and a half hours, that means you can work out five times per week of 30 minutes. You can work out six times per week of 25 minutes. You can work out four times of 40 minutes. And uh, even you can try now, that's a nice chance to work out seven times per week every day, 20 minutes. Uh, but what if you miss some times, some, let's say you work out three times per uh, of 20 minutes, that means with two times of 40 minutes, you can accomplish your 150 minutes weekly target. Uh, but the other target, where well, here is the minutes, you tick it. Uh, the other target should be the, um, uh, the muscle groups. Okay, so Fidias has mentioned like a small workout like push-ups, I would add uh, something else of push-up, uh, squats and, and the plank. Uh, like three exercises that uh, can work the upper body, the lower body and the core, a combination of them can rise up your heart rate as well. Uh, so this year's, these American Council of Exercise guidelines they split it also, so you can make these workouts one in the morning and one in the night, uh, if you are very busy. Uh, so these 20 minutes workout, workouts can become 10 plus 10, and the 40 minutes can become 20 plus 20. The studies though showed it was tested with moderate exercise, and so if step by step you get in a higher level where you need less recovery within your workout, you can even decrease the amount of, uh, of the workouts. We need also low intensity in the week and high intensity in the week. So the low intensity is normal what we said before with uh, the example of some squats and some uh, push-ups just to have a nice one. Uh, but the high intensity should be Tabata style or a circuit of uh, high intensive training combining the all or most of the, of the movements and muscles. I say most because if you can combine in a workout, you can add it on in the next day's uh, workout. So the Tabata style is uh, just 4 minutes of 20 work, 20 seconds workout and 10 seconds of rest, eight rounds that comes to four minutes, and the high intensive training circuits can be can have five to ten exercises of 30, 45 or even 60 seconds per, uh, per round, and two of three circles could be enough to keep you fit, okay, and stay active uh, and healthy. So, uh, my advice is to stay fit in order to be productive and happy to reach your goals.